Al-Quran besar yang ditulis dengan tinta berwarna emas ini menyambut pengunjung di pintu masuk pameran. It certainly is one of the biggest, it's certainly the heaviest. It weighs some 60 kilos and it is um, quite remarkable. Uh, many of these manuscripts were created uh, primarily for um, display. They were given as gifts to mosques and, and mausolea. Dari 66 buku yang dipamerkan, kebanyakan berasal dari museum seni dan agama Islam di Turki. Sisanya adalah koleksi galeri Freer and Sackler yang ditulis antara abad ke-7 di Damaskus, Suriah, hingga abad 17 di Istanbul. They were created for some of the most powerful sultans, rulers in these um, regions. And um, eventually, after many years, Um, they were acquired by the Ottoman royal family. Menurut kepala kurator dan kurator seni Islam di Galeri Freer and Sackler, walaupun setiap buku berisikan naskah yang identik, namun format dan gayanya berbeda. Kemahiran dan keahlian senimannya telah menjadikan setiap naskah karya seni yang unik. For instance, there is a uh, manuscript by the calligrapher Yakut who is probably one of the greatest calligraphers to have ever worked in the Islamic world from the late 12th early 13th century. Pameran ini memperlihatkan keindahan kaligrafi dan kerumitan penulisan Quran zaman dahulu yang juga menceritakan kisah individual sebagian naskah, penulisnya dan pemilik aslinya. We hope that um, visitors whatever their interests will come and take away some of these stories. Some, some may be interested in the calligraphy, some may be interested in particular um, calligraphers or in the art of illumination. And the way that the exhibition is organized, we hope that we have something for all our visitors. Pameran bertajuk The Art of Quran, Treasures from the Museums of Turkish and Islamic Art ini merupakan pameran Quran terbesar dan pertama di Amerika. Dari Washington DC, tim VOA.